Hey friends, how's it going? Uh, it's Sunday and I skipped yesterday because I went out and got a surface. Well, actually my husband got me a surface because he's really awesome and I wanted to play with that, <laughs> so I did. I also kind of wanted to have just like a day to chill on Memorial Day weekend, so I took it. Um, okay, where are we at? Things to do today. This mad sucker needs to get refolded and folded actually up and put away um, because it's a nightmare and I can't sew. <laughs> These guys need to be measured and folded. Those guys need to be measured and folded. I got mail. Oh, this is my new surface, by the way. I'm super into it. Never had a tablet. I kind of don't want a like laptop anymore and I want to be able to travel easily with that and like watch movies and stuff on it and whatever but I need to be able to edit these videos these videos that you're looking at right now um, <laughs> so anyway um, that's part of the reason I got it actually is because I thought it was powerful enough to edit on so we're giving it a go with this video um new from Ikea I got two of these king size duvet covers of this fabric right here zooming in um, and then these are just curtains of this fabric um, but it's apparently popular for making 18th century coats out of so we'll see anyway 18th century dreaming on such a winter's day even though it's Memorial Day I know it looks bright out there but it's actually it's raining I live in California and it's raining on Memorial Day weekend like something is weird here um I need to clean up a little bit because I got, you know, stuff everywhere. I did get these in the mail and I don't know if I showed them, so I'm just going to show you them anyway. I got these in the mail a while ago. These go in my collection. Um, I'm dying over this situation and I want it and I want it now. So there's that. Um, this dress, like this trim, what is this, what is this even? This trim is amazing. Let's just zoom in on this trim. Oh my god. This is what trim dreams are made of. Seriously. So, inspo for that. And then, I thought there was one more, but maybe it's underneath it. No, no, maybe there's just two. Anyway, that's what's going on. And then after all that hoopla is done and put away, I'm gonna make the trim for this dress. Um, and by dress, I mean <laughs> bustle overskirt, um, because I have to do it in order to finish it. Um, and then I will finish this. So, what does that mean? It means I'm going to make maybe like almost double edge bias tape out of brown silk and put it around the edges and then put this silk but pleated underneath that so it makes like a, you know, a defining line and then some more pleats and then it'll go on top of the brown skirt. So I think it'll look cute. It's looking mauve in my screen, but it's really like, um, I would say champagne color, like almost gold, but not quite gold, more like blush. All right, so this lady has to come off my dress form and Victorian underpinnings have to go on. So, woo-woo. <sighs> I'm going to Hamilton next weekend and I was like trying to figure out if I should wear this or not. And then I'm just like, I can't sit with pannier. I mean, I can, but like the seats are really small and I think that would just be uncomfortable for two and, two and a half hours, three hours, whatever it is. So, I think we're going to go in muggle clothes. Okay. I'm gonna get started on this stuff and I will let you know how it's going as it's going. This thing is already already super helpful because I can do math on it and I can also like draw. Like now I know the curvy parts are 64 inches, the up parts are 14 inches, and the long parts 82 inches. And I did the math and I figured out I can, this is 54. I can fit all of this and these. I mean, maybe not all the way on this, but this one's gonna have a droopy thing that hangs over, so it's a little bit okay. Basically, I get within an inch or two here um so i can just cut two strips basically and make all i need for these two um and then i'll have to figure out this later but um it's helping me do math already i love this thing boo i figured out that that because it has a curve in the front of it it needs to be cut on the bias and i'm like boo <laughs> so now i cut a perfect square and i'm gonna make some bias tape rad can I just talk about how much I hate making bias tape? 
Thank God for Bernadette and for other people's YouTube videos about <laughs> costuming. So I can watch this and not get hateful at making bias tape. Okay, so I've also only decided, of course my cat decides to meow right at this time. My hair is all mess. Somebody asked me to see him. Hello, babies. How are you? This is Keanu. He's my little man. He just wants me to open the door. Do you want to come in? Okay. Come on. Come on, you can come in. Yep, you can do a lap. Okay, come on. Get going. Come on. This is what owning cats is like, and I own seven. Okay, he's not coming in. He's just looking around. Okay, you're out. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm only going to make two bias strips for the curved parts, and then the rest of them I'm cutting on the straight grain, because nope. It's too fiddly on the bias. I hate it. I don't want to deal with it. I'm only doing as much as I have to. So I'm going to hang out with Bernadette and watch this video and make more of this bias day. Okay, I'm pretty sure someone's going to ask me about this. So how I made this was I folded a square into a triangle and then I cut off two three inch wide strips at, on the bias at the longest part of that triangle, <laughs> the hypotenuse. Watch me whip out ninth grade geometry. Um, so then I ironed it in half. I pinned it and ironed it in half and then pin, unpinned, like took the pins out and ironed it again so it was perfectly flat. And then I pin one half all the way halfway and the other half like not quite all halfway so that when it lays down like one is slightly wider than the other because the wider, slightly wider one will be the front and the other one will be in the back. And that way you can sew on the front one and then like with your machine and hand stitch on the back. So I pin them, but as I'm going, I only pin a little ways and then I start like taking the pins out and just pinning them together as one. And then I will iron this once with all the pins in and then I will iron it again with the pins out. And I will come up with this, which is basically double fold bias tape. And it's probably so dark you can't even see the edge there, but it's there. Like one edge is definitely wider than the other. Um, and it's not perfectly even, but neither was Victorian. And man, if this was a Bernadette Vanner vlog, I would say that I am trash for trim. Like I love me some trim <laughs> and like 1870s are my jam, but 1880s have less trim. So I'm trying to like hold back and only put on some trim. And like, I'm looking at like that guy, these like poster things right here. Um, you can hear my husband going in and out of the yard. Um, and they don't have a lot of trim on them, so I'm trying to be reserved and yet still hear the call of my inner uh, trim monster. Here's another pro tip. Um, when I don't want my thing to move around, I just pin it to my board. And then I can press the rest of this. B2 dabs, press, don't iron, because if you iron, where you're moving the thing along as opposed to pressing when you move it along you'll pull the bias and it'll make a giant wrinkle that goes all the way down it i know this from experience so don't do that yeah so i just pin it to the board this board by the way this board cover is awesome i got it at a quilting show sometime um, if i can figure out where it's from i will let you guys know but it is made out of fireman's suit fireman's jacket material so, first of all, you can like, I've seen them literally take an iron and put it on some sh silk charmeuse on high, like on cotton, and just leave it there for five minutes and the, the silk didn't burn. And then also, you can turn your settings way down because the heat doesn't go through it. It like goes in and then reflects back because it's fireman suit material, which again, I don't understand how it doesn't burn if that's the case, but here we are. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Um, I've decided to hand tack it on because then I can catch both sides at the same with one stitch. Um, it'll be a little bit easier to take off. I should have made them even. Um, if I was, knew I was gonna do this and not do it machine, I would have made them even because that would have made this a lot easier. Um, but, cause you can like see the little warbles in it, but who cares? Like honestly, from five feet away, no one's gonna notice that. <laughs> Um, and I can always like a bead over that or whatever. Um, anyway, so I'm hand tacking this down and I'm going to be doing that for like the next three hours. So <laughs> probably more.
I think we're gonna go see John Wick tonight. I watched John Wick 1 and 2 while I was doing some parts of this. So, excuse my weird hair. I was wet headed when I started this. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna go sit in the bed and do this because doing it in my chair here is not, you know, the world's most comfortable thing. So we're gonna give that a go. Although I heard read somewhere like in couture shops, you're supposed to sit like up on something and have something to put your elbows on while you hand sew and that's supposed to make everything easier. Maybe we'll try that sometime. We'll see. Okay, this was the only way I could figure out how to show you what I did today, which was make this bias tape for the front of this and then get it on there and hand sew it on. So um, I'm going to put pleated material along next to it so that um, in this color so that it, you know, looks pleated and this will all be like pulled, you know, these will hang more like that. So that should give you an idea, but <laughs> that took seven hours today. <laughs> so hopefully tomorrow will go a little bit faster. I need to do the rest of the back of it, which is like, I don't know, like a hundred inches. Um, so it's about what I did here, except I don't have to do it on the bias. So I can do straight and I can maybe cut them so that they are even, which will t make me take less time sewing them on. But hand sewing is a biz notch. I'm just trying to catch them both um, as I go. So anyway, um, it's like, oh, I did go see John Wick. It was good. I like the John Wick movies though. So, you know, I was destined for that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go stop doing this now <laughs> and I'll continue doing it tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Memorial Day. Um, I always overestimate what I think I can get done in a weekend because I forget about things like, oh, my husband's going to want to go get breakfast and like he likes to have breakfast out on the weekend. So we go out for breakfast and I forget that that takes like two hours of my day out and I'm like, okay, but if you weren't in bed still at 12.45, checking your phone, we could be at breakfast already. So yeah, anyway, um, I did edit last night's like part of the vlog on my new service and it edits better than my old computer. So well, well we're keeping the service. I'm super excited about that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna cut more bias just, oh no, I'm gonna cut more tape, not bias tape. I'm cutting on the straight grain now because all the other parts I have to do are straight. Um, so I'm just gonna cut those on the straight grain because it's a lot easier and start making the tape to add to this skirt. Uh, and bow over skirt um, yeah and then I watched video tutorials on how to use my pleater board because I have a pleater board and I freaking hate it like I hate it so um, usually I just hand pleat my stuff and whatever and it's been fine but um, I thought I would try the pleater board so we'll see if I even get that far today I don't even know yesterday took seven hours I have to make an equivalent amount today so hopefully it won't take that long but we'll see there's a lot of hand sewing involved like my hands hurt I have a feeling all week is going to be hand sewing <laughs> and hand pleating because I, I I have no faith in this pleater board thing. We'll see. Just for document's sake, um, I mark myself with chalk, but I use these like chalk wheel pen things that have like mm, kind of a sharp edge, but they do look dusty like this. I just roll over them with a fabric, whatever that's called, um, and it takes off all the extra so that the chalk doesn't get everywhere. Just in case anyone else has this problem. Okay, it's only been five hours this time and I got all the rest of the trim made and on. So, slight improvement. <laughs> um, this is the back side. Oh, that's the front. I need to iron it all down real quick. Um, and then I can start figuring out how I'm gonna pleat all the pleating because there's just as much pleating. Awesome. All right, this biz notch and I went three rounds and I cannot get it to like make a pleat without pulling the last pleat out no matter how tight I hold it. And it, like, it just takes eight times longer than me just like pleating up a bunch myself. So that's what I've done. Um, although this was 56 inches and it's now 20 inches. So I'm like, ugh. 
Also, like the vinegar solution like slightly discolors it, although I think it's probably fine. Um, you can see this giant yellow stripe down from me having to measure three inches on this. <laughs> so this has enough of a number of problems and I need, let's see, 64, I don't even know if you guys can see that, 64 inches twice and then 14 inches twice and then 82 inches. So that's a lot of these. That's three, four, eight, and like 13 of these that I need to make. And here's number one and they take about half an hour so yeah we'll have to see but um maybe i'll just crank and get them going and hope that everything works out okay <laughs> i'm like two and a half hours into this and i have 60 inches 60. i need like almost four times that much I'll be here making pleats. This is what Iron Man was like too. I don't know why that didn't hurt as bad, but it hurts and I have to, I'm thinking about making more trim. People keep asking me what M-O-A-R trim is and I'm just like, say it out loud. <laughs> more trim. That's how weird I am, peeps. Look at my hair, look at my crazy, crazy hair. It's this iron, and it all smells like vinegar in here because I'm using vinegar solution to like set these plates. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do one more set because that allows me to sew something on somewhere um, so I can pleat some and then sew some and hopefully... I'm looking forward to hand stitching. Something's wrong with me right now. Ah. <laughs> okay, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and I've sewn for like 11 hours today. So this is what I was doing. Um, so I got all of the hem tape made and applied. Um, and then I got just the bottom edge of this stuff made and mostly applied, although I have a little bit I need to tack down over here. And then I need to create like another, you know, couple inches and stick it in there. Um, but this is basically what I'm doing all over this thing. Um, so in case you're wondering, well, what is it that you're doing with this trim? I kind of was looking at these ladies here. Let's see if this will focus in. Although mine's a little bit earlier than that, but you can see at the bottom of their dresses, they have like little trim things that show up there. So I was kind of trying to mimic that a little bit and get a little contrast in too. I am bananas for trim, so I'm always trying to add more, but I'm trying to hold back on this one because it's supposed to be late 1800s. The other thing is, like, I don't really finish all this edging, I just folded it over, so there's all this, like, detritus coming off of it, so I think I just have to, like, pull it all and let it come off and then call it good, but man, I'm not worried about messing with that right now. Um, anyway, so I have about twice as much as I've already done still to create. Um, <laughs> sounds ridiculous. Okay, so I've spent about six hours on this much, so I imagine the rest of the week will be me making more of this trim and applying it on, and then I need to iron, also iron this out a little bit and get it more smooth, but honestly, it's on the back of a bustle. It's going to be kind of crazy daisy anyway so I'm not that worried about it I think it looks really good okay so <laughs> gotta warn you the rest of this vlog is probably making me making more of this but I will try to make it interesting for you all right uh I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow if not the next day for more pleading adventures hey guys so it's actually Thursday I took Tuesday off we watched Chernobyl um I was gonna watch one episode and then go pleat and I got sucked in and then I watched four episodes and that's how that happens um, and I was coming home yesterday to um, go ahead and like work on this but I got in a massive car accident I was actually just gonna leave a little note at the end saying like I got in a car accident I'm fine but whatever and then I thought that would freak you guys out so anyway you can see me I am fine 
I'm definitely sore. Um, my car is absolutely totaled. Um, I'll put a picture here so you can see what happened. It's also on my personal Instagram. Um, like a guy just hit me at full speed and I was at a stop. So, and I got pushed into the person in front of me and they got pushed into the person in front of them. Um, although the guy in front of me, his damage wasn't very bad, like compared to mine, my car is totaled for sure. Um, it was an old car. I was planning on keeping driving it. It's a CRV and I love my car. Like it's 12 years old and I could pro and it was 250,000 miles and I could probably get another 250 out of it easily. And now I have to go buy a new one, but I am going to buy a new Arts and CRV. So that'll happen pretty soon. Anyway, I am here to tell you that I did not, so for the rest of the week, it's Thursday, and this is when I put up my vlogs Thursday night, so, um, that's the end of this vlog. <laughs> I will start again. I'm really sore. I'm going to take some muscle relaxers, hopefully, tonight, and, um, feel better. I got an injection of some sort of extra strength Advil, so that should also help. Um, if I start sewing tomorrow and it sucks, I'm going to stop, because you know, health more important than bustle dress. Um, so, um, yeah, that's how things are going right now. I'm, I'm okay though. Like I actually am okay. Um, I just am in pain. I went to the doctor, of course, that's how I got this injection and the medicine I'm going to get. But, um, they said it's fine. Like they, they're like, you don't have any internal bleeding. Like this is completely normal. You should feel back to normal in a couple days. So I'm going to trust that. <laughs> so I should be back to sewing by at least this weekend. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry the end of it is weird, <laughs> and um, I will get back to you guys next week. Give this a video a, th a thumbs up if you liked it, or you feel sorry for me because I had a horrible car accident. <laughs> um, and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next week with another vlog. Oh, um, also, I put up the video of Costume College from 2015 that I just had on another channel. Um, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Uh, a video I can't even uh, monetize or anything because it has the time warp in it so it's like whatever so I just thought you guys would enjoy it um I have another one from Dragon Con um are you guys interested in seeing Dragon Con footage um it's like it's on my makeup channel so it seems like a dumb place for it so I was gonna move it over so let me know if you feel interested in that um also in the comments let me know what you guys are working on what you're listening to what you're watching Chernobyl's really good there's only one more episode next Tuesday next Tuesday um, so it's really tense though, obviously, <laughs> so, cause you're like, oh, you're gonna die, and you're gonna die, and you're gonna die, and oh, don't, oh, you did that, okay, you're gonna die. So, <laughs> it's like one of those shows, which is, I don't know why I like this, I just do. <laughs> anyway, um, also Good Omens is starting on Amazon Prime, and that is, like, one of my favorite books of all time, so I'm really excited about that, and Neil Gaiman show ran that, so it's gonna be awesome, so I'm excited about it. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling now. I hope you guys had a good week and are about to have a good weekend and I will see you guys next week.